Hola YouTube, welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's your girl Dariani. And if you're new here, bienvenidos. Today's video, I'm going to be showing you how I do my everyday summer makeup. So, if you want to see how I achieve this look, keep on watching. Alright, so let's get this party started. I am literally doing this makeup because I'm trying to stay consistent with content. It is 10 o'clock at night, y'all. Okay, so I'm going to start with my serum. This is La Roche Pose, and this is just a hyaluronic. I cannot say it to save my life, but you guys probably know what it means or what it is. But I discovered the serum because of my um dermatologist she recommended to me along with some other products i probably i should make a video um talking about the products that she gave me and now i'm just using my moisturizer which is cetaphil um this is a yeah a moisturizing lotion and this one is for body and face and it's for all skin types i have super duper oily skin a lot of the products that i use are moisturizing products or products that cater to oily skin i'm going to use this fancy beauty eyebrow pencil and this is in the shade black brown luckily for me my eyebrows are microbladed so i don't really have to do much anymore but typically I use a lot of stuff, a lot of different products to do my makeup depending on the occasion. If I want to do something super, super beat or if I want something light, I use different products for different stuff. Typically, I use the same brand. I've noticed that I use a lot of Fenty Beauty because they cater to my skin, but depending on what i am doing whether it's like a natural face or like a full beat depends on the amount of products that i do use for me to do my eyebrows now it's not a long process anymore because like i said they are microbated so pretty much what i do is just fill them in so i just go ahead and make them look a little bit more defined i like super dark eyebrows that's just a preference and I also like curvy eyebrows I noticed that the two times that I got my eyebrows microbladed um towards the end it's more of a triangle where I like mine's more of a circular arch so I make sure to achieve that um whenever I fill them in and eyebrows are one of those things that people don't necessarily have to do it the same way because everybody i should have never popped that pimple oh my god that was a lot more pronounced <laughs> i was saying um when it comes to eyebrows eyebrows are different um for everybody because some people look better with thinner eyebrows some people look better with thicker eyebrows so it all depends on what you're into and what fits your face as well that's key your eyebrows have to fit your face and i have a huge forehead so listen i'm gonna have dark and thicker eyebrows if i want to now to conceal my eyebrows i'm going to use the la girl pro concealer and this is in the shade espresso and i just used a flat brush to clean up my eyebrows up a bit and then just a little bit at the top to clean it up and I always find that concealing my brows from the bottom and from the top and I'm going to conceal this little pimple because it's bothering me yeah and I find that concealing your eyebrows from the bottom and from the top makes your eyebrows a lot more pronounced 
so it all depends what look you're going for so you would conceal your eyebrows at the top if you want your eyebrows to be a lot more precise but if you want like a natural look then you would clean it just at the bottom but like I said makeup is all preference and makeup is also very relative so whatever you know pleases you and I always use a small mirror for details so that I make sure that detail wise everything is okay but also I still look in the mirror to make sure that overall everything looks okay and even now I'm just going to just brush up the front a little bit just so my eyebrows won't look too too harsh when I do my eyebrow I put a lot more product towards the end because that's the area that I want to be filled the most but I still brush the front but you sometimes don't see it a lot because like I said my eyebrows are microbladed now I'm going to use a clear brow gel just to comb my hairs up so they could look a lot more natural and so my eyebrows again will look more precise now for primer I'm going to use the pro filter mattifying primer from Fenty Beauty I haven't done my makeup in so long and I haven't used a lot of these products in so long that sometimes you forget the name like I know it's a primer but I don't remember the exact name so I literally have to read it to make sure I'm saying the correct thing so I am applying primer pretty much in the areas that I get the most oily which is pretty much everywhere but mainly my t-zone area and a little technique that I learned is to put powder in the areas that you get the most shine so I am going to be using these Derma Blend Professional and this is a loose setting powder and this is a clear powder and I'm just going to apply that in the areas that I get the most shine which is my nose area and my cheek area as well and my forehead now I am going to color correct to color correct I'm going to be using this MAC and this is the dark studio fix conceal and correct palette from this palette I'm going to be using two colors I'm going to be using the orange corrector to correct my dark spots and I'm also going to be trying a shade that's closer to my skin tone to also tone down my hyperpigmentation I'm going to be using this color right here this is actually a technique that I learned not too long ago I used to either conceal my hyperpigmentation with the same color that I use for my eyebrows or just color correct but recently I learned that you can do both and you get better results that way so I'm going to give this a try last time I did it I used this color over here but it was a little too too light for me i think i should next time i film a makeup tutorial i am going to try to put my camera more this way since i always look at my mirror because i don't like depending just on my monitor now i'm just going to use a beauty blender to blend in both the concealer and the color corrector shade and I'm doing this so that when I apply foundation everything looks seamless when you think of summer makeup a lot of people think of dewy makeup but like I said my skin is super oily so me doing a dewy look might not be the best idea now for foundation I'm going to be using this KVD this is the good apple skin perfecting foundation balm and this is in the color deep 082 you guys know that I always have problems with finding the right shade I almost always have to blend 
two different foundations to get my foundation shade but when I went to Sephora to get this foundation I actually got help picking it out and uh, it is a little bit darker than my skin tone but the reason why I got it is because my summer shade it matches my summer shade perfectly but I do have to tone it down with concealer because when it oxidizes it does look a little bit dark and I love the fact that this is a color that does not get too too red and I like that a lot a whole lot I love this foundation a lot I'm actually very happy that they are there are companies out there that are starting to cater to not only different skin tones but also different skin types and that makes me very happy i remember when i started wearing makeup and man i had to touch up my makeup almost every 30 minutes to an hour because i was not able to find foundations that catered to my skin type and when i did they did not go far enough to my skin complexion so it's either look crazy and have mattifying foundation or just touch up every chance you get moving on to concealer i'm going to use my favorite 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 concealer and this is the tarte shape tape concealer and i use the shade deep 53N and I also use the shade Tan Deep Sand 47S and I like to mix the two. So my regular concealer will be deep and I just put that pretty much to like a triangle. Pretty much. And then I bring it up a little bit just so I can give my eyes like a lifting effect. I love to conceal. I feel like concealer makes your makeup. And now I'm going to use sand, Jesus Lord, tan deep sand. I tell you, I cannot remember some of these names. <laughs> I just look at the shade and I know what I'm doing. So, yeah, so trying to pronounce names are not it for me. Now I'm going to put a little bit down the bridge of my nose little bit on my forehead to accentuate the huge forehead that I have and my chin area and the side of my nose I like to let my concealer oh my camera is dying no all right you guys so my camera died kind of at the perfect time because I actually like to let my concealer sit on my face for a little bit just so it can set prior to me blending it and I think that was what I was beginning to say before my camera died so it allowed me some time to actually change my battery while my concealer actually sat on my face so I'm just blending it in with this beauty sponge and I pretty much just start to blend in the areas that are not under my eyes just so that the part under my eyes continue to set now I'm going to blend in my big old forehead <laughs> oh god sometimes I cannot take myself seriously and sometimes I cannot take the fact that I be too serious so I think I have a little weird balance but anyway who cares you guys are not here for that all right so now I am blending the concealer under my eyes and when I blend my concealer I'm going to bring it up to give my eyes a little lifting effect and if you have too much of a harsh line from applying too much concealer you can use you could just keep blending or you can use the part that does not have any concealer or foundation or even better if you used a beauty sponge that had foundation left over on the sponge you can also use that to blend it as well 
that's pretty much the two ways i don't know if i said two or three ways but those are pretty much the ways that you can help with that harsh lines like makeup does not have to have a lot of products in order for it to look good you pretty much just have to blend a lot you have to have patience with makeup and that's one thing that i learned honestly you have to have patience with makeup blending does not take three seconds it might look like it on a youtube tutorial because you know that's pretty much the way we have to edit it or at least i edit my videos but if i show you guys the whole time that i'm blending you guys are not gonna want to watch this video because you have to blend 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 if you want flawless makeup you have to blend your makeup you know you can't be just walking out here with harsh makeup on another tip do not just blend your makeup to look good on camera or on a picture blend your makeup enough so that it looks good when you go outside as well now to set my face i'm going to use this pro filter instant retouch setting powder in the shade honey from fenty beauty and i'm only going to use this under my eyes because i like to brighten under my eyes you guys already know that i have this weirdness going on i will address that one of these days on my channel i keep saying i'm going to address so many things on my channel and i just never get around to it but i will i think it's time that i open up to you guys a lot more i just hope that there is no judgment i mean there is going to be judgment pretty much with everything that you do but i hope that you guys are more understanding so two places that i use honey which is the lighter setting powder is the bridge of my nose and under my eyes only because i like that brightening effect now i am going to use the big boy and this is the shade nutmeg and it's the same setting powder it's just also the bigger setting powder this is the mini and this is the big boy and i got the big boy because i use it a lot more the little one i pretty much just use it to set under my eye or to brighten things so yeah i'm thinking just of quantity how much of it i use so yeah so now i'm going to go with this powder and i'm going to set under my chin and my big old forehead <laughs> and i'm going to also set right underneath the lighter tone that i use and this is pretty much just to set the foundation just so that i don't get oily right away now i'm going to do pretty much a reverse contour which is when you so lightly cut through your cheeks just to give you that lifted effect and i'm just doing a little bit a little bit just a tiny bit now i'm going to go around my mouth because i get really oily in this area and i know right now this looks crazy but don't you worry i'm going to bronze my face and then we are going to dust off the powder and you guys will see to bronze my face we are going to use the sun stalker instant warmth bronzer and this is in the shade mocha mommy i love that name so much and i'm just going to use that on my cheeks just to give me some warmth at first because listen yes this is a simple summer makeup but you guys will see that i also if i'm gonna do makeup i'm going to do makeup so i'm just using this powder just to warm around my face so my face won't look flat so i am 
warming up my forehead like you guys seen my cheek area and every time I start I start in a circle motion and then I do it upwards now my chin area one technique that I use for my summer look I try to not use way too many products but I make sure to use the correct products because typically when I do my contour I Jesus typically when I do my contour I start with cream contour and then I set that but this is summer makeup so I am not going to go harsh now moving on to the pro filter soft matte powder foundation and this is in the shade 495 this is a foundation well a powder foundation but I use it as a contour powder because it's such a rich brown and I love it so much and listen this thing right here it's so pigmented so all I need is a dab shake it and I go ahead and contour right on top of the warmth that I gave myself with the mocha mommy mocha mommy <laughs> I cannot believe I have this much energy at 10 30 at night now I'm going to use a little bit I'm going to contour my nails and first I just make sure that I have enough powder or enough products and then I just go ahead and blend 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 I think that's a word that we're gonna have to learn blend 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 to deepen my eyes i'm going to use a little bit of this powder and just use it as a pretty much as a very light eyeshadow just to add some definition to my face and if you don't want the intensity of this on your eyes you could have just went with mocha me <laughs> oh my god I truly cannot believe that I have this much energy at this time of night. Now I'm going to use this powder brush and I'm just going to pretty much dust off the extra powder. And as I am dusting off, I am also pressing it into my skin and blending everything in together. So I brush away and then I press, press, press. So there are absolutely no harsh lines. I decided to use this cream blush. I bought this blush so many months ago, but I've been terrified of using it. But I decided that I'm going to use it today. Typically for blush, I just use this NIX Sweet Cheeks Matte Blush Powder. And this is in the shade Red Riot. But... I'm going to give this cream powder a try because it's about time. So I'm going to use my beauty sponge and I'm going to use the area where I blend all the powders with or all the products with just so that when I apply the blush, I'm going to say brush, when I apply the blush it won't be too, too, too intense. I used to be terrified of blush because I felt like blush was too much for me and my skin tone but once I learned to use blush the right way there was no going back I am not an expert blush applying person if that makes sense so what I do I just smile and I apply blush in the areas where I would want you know the blush to appear pretty much I feel like this area there we go okay 
and one thing that I like to do I like to apply a little bit of brush on the tip of my nose but not too much because then you look like you've been sneezing too much and uh, i don't know if this is gonna show because this is cream blush but i also like to apply a little bit of blush on top of the contour powder for my eyes just to give yourself like a little warmth and a little bit of flirtiness to your face and because this is a cream blush i'm going to Go ahead and use that same powder that I use to blush away, to blush away, to brush away the excess powder. I'm going to pretty much blend in the blush. Now for mascara, I'm going to use the Voluminous Lash Paradise Mascara and this mascara comes with a base and the mascara. And because I am not applying lashes, because this is a simple summer look, I'm going to be using the base to make my lashes thicker and longer. And I'm going to let that just dry a little bit. While that is drying, I'm going to use my favorite lip pencil. This is the Shayla and Colourpop Lippy Pencil Collection. And I'm going to not only outline my lips with it, but pretty much put it on most of my lip. And I'll show you. So after I overline my lips, or just line my lips, I bring it down. And then I blend it in a little bit by just doing this. And one cool thing that I like to do, just dab a little bit of blush just to give my lips some color. And then on top of that, I'm going to go in with glass slipper that no longer pretty much look like glass slipper. Because I pretty much use this to go on top of my favorite lip concoction. So my glass lipper pretty much got the color of that concoction. Now let's finish our lashes. Okay, we are almost done. To set my entire face, I'm going to use this Pro Filter Soft Matte Powder Foundation. But this is in the shade 445, which is pretty much my shade. And I'm just going to use a little bit of it and just set first under my eyes. And then with the rest or the remainder of product on the brush, I'm just going to set the rest of my face. Last step, highlight. My favorite part. But... I've toned it down with the highlight lately so I literally just <laughs> highlight my cheeks now I used to pretty much highlight everything my brow bone my nose my cupid's bow and sometimes even my chin just because listen I like that effect but then I learned that when you have highlight and your face gets oily, it's not the greatest to look. So, yeah. So now, when I do do a little bit of highlight, I just highlight my cheeks and the tip of my nose. And I make sure that the highlight on the tip of my nose is very, very minimal. And this is pretty much my summer makeup i'm going to fix my hair up a little bit put my earrings on and i'll be right back all right you guys so this is the final look i hope this was very simple and i hope i made it simple enough to follow along and uh, yeah i didn't do too much to my hair just pretty much made it a little bit neater fyi i did my own hair you guys 
yes i'm trying okay so give me credit for that but yeah i didn't put too much product on my hair because like i said it's very late at night and i am literally about to go wash my face so i didn't want to put too much product but i made sure to you know lay my baby hairs just a little bit to look presentable but yeah like i said this is my simple summer look i know it looks like i may have used a lot of products <laughs> trust me this is not as much products as i use when i go all out but to me this is my simple summer look i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did leave this video a fat thumbs up comment down below and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and i'll see you guys on my next video Ciao.